Hi, I'm Nigel. Uh, Nigel, Nigel Schoolman Tamer uh, in Exeter, Tasmania. Um, how it all started? Um, I worked there previously uh, as was called Rob Mitchum's Butchery. Um, done my apprenticeship there. Um, I moved from the town in St Mary's um, from the east coast of Tasmania when I was about 16. Didn't even really know where actually was at that stage when I got the job, so it was all, all new. Um, so yeah, 10 years later, um, I ended up buying the business. Um, probably never really planned to stay there, uh, probably any, any longer than about four or five years. I probably planned to move around to different shops and uh, learn new and exciting things, but it didn't happen that way. So we, uh, we stayed there, and um, 10 years after that, 20 years down the track and here we are. Um, we've had a name change, we're Nigel's Gourmet Entertainer now. Um, we employ uh, in that shop alone probably about three different people um, and currently we've just brought some other business, Farmyard Chicken. Um, now they're just going under the name, going a name change as Nigel's Farmyard. Um, our passion, our drive, people would probably wonder why we work so long hours and why we do what we do. Um, it's, not, it's not all about money, it's mainly about, um, about dreams, about food, passion, um, to make a product uh, so good that people can eat it and taste it and um, for them to come back and say that was that was great, that was beautiful. That is um, more than any money can can buy, pretty much. That That's what we're about. We're about um, keeping people happy. Um, and really, um, people are so busy these days, so they really want to take home something simple, um, put it in the oven, cook it, and something that's healthy for the family, pretty much. So that is our passion to do, and that's where we find our drive to, um, to make people happy. Um, did I come from a family of butchers? No, I uh, come from uh, 25, uh, five generations of uh, miners, so therefore I was the uh, black sheep in the family. Um, just always had the passion to be a butcher as a young kid. Um, don't know where that come from, but uh, just, just wanted to do it, so um, here I am today. Um, we're quite famous these days for our sausages. Um, it was never set out to be that way. Uh, we entered some competitions about five years ago, and um, yeah, we we won uh, won awards, and these days we keep winning them. And I think every year, what the difference is between us and everyone else, we don't stay with the same uh, sausage flavors. We keep changing them, and we keep getting better. I think our flavors, our sausages, from now to a year ago, are actually better. And I would say next year our sausage will be better than what they are this year because we keep improving them and keep getting them better. Our meat we get, um, we source from local farmers. Um, that's pretty much it. We don't go to one farm and buy our meat off them. Because really honestly, if you, if you keep it down to one farm, um, your, your quality isn't going to be perfect every time. But if you source out from several farms, um, pick the best out of each farm, then you are guaranteed quality all the time. So that, that is our goal, and that's how we do it. Work, um, work long hours, so doing that, you couldn't do that without a good support group. Um, someone that is behind you 100% of the time and lets you go to work at uh, three o'clock in the morning and come home some night at seven or later. Um, and uh, to have a drive and have the same passion as you do is you have to have a great wife and uh, that's where the key is and also uh, we have two lovely little children which, um, which uh, they're fantastic Riley is the youngest he's only uh, six weeks old and Isabella's two no seven weeks she's almost four months old yeah time flies when you work so long. <laughs>
Two and a half. There you go. T time <laughs> seems to uh, stop when you're not here very much. But um, yeah, so therefore, uh, up in the ages that I didn't realise, but um, they're still great kids. And my wife Catherine is obviously behind the uh, iPad telling me um, what I'm doing wrong. But um, we're, we're just just normal people with passion for food and. Um, Whatever in life we do, it will be with food, and um, we love eating food, we love eating good food, and we just want to share that with people. So that's, that's simply us, and that's our passion behind Nigel's Gourmet and Tamer, and that will be our f passion behind Nigel's Farmyard, which, um, which is exciting, it's scary, and um, as we go into new ventures, we go from, um, what are they called, employers of... Uh, of, of three, and now we go into which is twelve. So we we're, uh, we're uh, scary sometimes. It's all new ground, and um, but we will make a go of it, and um, we will make Nigel's Farmyard as famous as Nigel's Gourmet for um, for something. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but no doubt that something will find us, and um, that will be another driving force. Uh, we want to be known as the place to go to buy great food that's pre-prepared but not uh, manufactured in a way that you know, it's cheap and nasty. Um, there's two ways I believe to make a product and that is one, you set a price and then you make the product to the price and the other way is make the product and set the price accordingly and that's what we do. It's about making it taste nice, not making it cheap. Um, if people want cheap food, then unfortunately they probably won't come to our shops. But if you want great tasting food, then taste is, food is fresh and nice and homemade. And just like your mum used to make it, then you'll come to our stores and we'll see you soon.